Hey, happy Thursday to my YouTube family. Thank you for joining us on Driving Up Stocks. I just wanted to take a quick break from a little remodel project that we're doing, uh, trying to get moved into the new house. I did had work from home today, uh, finished that up, and then uh, went into painting, which is what I've been doing at freaking work is painting. So it's like I paint, and then, I'm, and then I go home and paint, so... Uh, my life is paint right now, so, uh, but thanks for tuning in. Uh, basically, if you're just joining us, the premise of this is uh, we talk about the stock market, personal finance, a little bit of motivation here and there, um, and I usually do it on my commute to and from work, uh, going to the store, or like right now, I just jumped out in the car uh, while I'm waiting, literally waiting for paint to dry, um, and, and we try to drive up some stocks. So, getting right into our midweek update. Uh, for the uh, period ending uh, 415 here 2020 uh, when the markets closed as, as I uh, if you check out some of my older videos um, I always go with the after hours times which uh, for Robin the Robin Hood app uh, ends at 6 p.m. so at 6 p.m. last night when the markets completely closed um, our portfolio was sitting at $143.65 so we are down about three and a half percent on the week uh, not too horrible uh, we've had a few ups and downs it was um, actually a good chunk of the day everything I had was in the red so we did have a few things that kind of rebounded at the end I mean uh, if you look down in the in the description, I always give a link. Uh, I have like a basically like a Robin Hood referral site. Uh, in addition to just sharing out my my link, if you're interested, you know, just quick pitch here. If you're interested in signing up, starting your Robin Hood journey, um, I do always put a uh, link down in the description um, to where you can go and sign up for Robin Hood. We both get a free share. Uh, they're valued at between $5 and $150. Uh, obviously, the higher dollar stocks, harder to come by, uh, but you do get a free stock just for signing up to uh, trade with Robinhood. Uh, but I also have a site where I kind of share out different pictures, um, how our week ends. Anytime I, uh, someone uses my referral link, I screenshot that and I share it out and give them a little shout out on that site. So that link is down below. It's a, it's a Facebook page. Um, Kind of forgot where I was going with that. Son of a gun. Anywho. Um, moving on, I guess. Since my memory just completely died. I don't edit. For those of you that have not joined, I don't I do not do any editing. I clip a little bit off the beginning, clip a little bit off the end just to make it smooth. But that is it. Um, so what's happening out there in the stock world? Um, it's been up and down. Oh, that's where I think I was going with that. Is I, I, I typically share out at the end of the week. I'll post my most recent weekend chart uh, from Robinhood. And like so far, like if you look at yesterday, which I wouldn't share just the one single day, it kind of goes, you know, starts out like this and then has a big old dip and then starts to go back up. Not enough hours in the day for it to get back up. Um, what really saved me uh, late last night was the cryptos kind of started to 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 peak up a little bit. So I might apologize. This one just a uh, crazy day today uh, between stuff I was doing for work and, and paint fumes. I don't know. I'm a little bit out of my element today and I, I apologize in advance for that one. Um, so the, the only new activity I've had since our beginning of the week update, I did get paid two dividends. I got paid uh, 20 cents for my two shares of designer brands, uh, ticker symbol DVI. That's one that I've talked about in the past. Really like them. Uh, they are kind of like a, they own some store, like box stores and mostly in malls. Like they have a place called the Nail Bar, which is fairly new. Uh, Designer Shoe Warehouse, probably two of their biggest ones. And I always forget, they've got a really big one, but it's not, uh, they're, they're not really found in my area. Um, so I'm not real familiar with them, but it's kind of probably on par with like a JCPenney or a Darden's or a Macy's or something like that. I'm, I'm assuming from what I've read about it. Uh, but I, I own two shares of designer brands, so that paid out $0.10 cents each. Uh, really happy with that, actually, um, because they were paying out $0.25 cents per share. And with a lot of the cuts going on, they didn't completely, with all the hits they're taking, they didn't completely cut out their, 
dividend. Uh, but they did reduce it down to 10 cents per share. Very happy about that. Uh, the other one I got paid out on was the one that I've talked about in the past that I kind of bought on a whim one time right before its ex-dividend date, which is Voya Natural Resources, uh, ticker symbol IRR. Um, as the name implies, they're into like oil and natural resources. Um, they are an EFT. Um, so they're kind of a conglomeration of different things in the natural resource industry. Uh, that one paid out eight cents. That one's a penny stock. Um, that one is one that I have haven't thought of increasing my position on. I own one share, but um, again, I don't really look at penny penny stocks long term anymore. I've kind of moved away from penny stocks. But that one, it, it's it really does well. I bought it at like I think it was right at four dollars a share when I bought in. Um, and it dropped down to like 360, 375, somewhere in there. And it's bounced around four dollars forever until obviously uh, uh, Lord Voldemort, the uh, he who shall not be named, going on out in the world that's uh, got everything down right now, um, tanked everything. It's still trading at I think it's over two dollars a share, just under two dollars a share, maybe a buck eighty a share. But I mean, really, I mean, they are just kind of very consistent. Um, not a lot of growth potential, I don't think, but it's a very consistent, uh, price. I mean, it kind of hovers around the same, you know, within 15 to 20 cents and you're, you know, if you're getting at least eight cents or more for a dividend on each share, I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna make out. I mean, it kind of makes up for the lack of growth, I guess. So, I mean, that one might be one I actually end up increasing my position and in. I don't know, you know, even though it's a penny stock, um, so I did get those two dividends paid out. Uh, still, I have three stocks that I'm holding on to uh, for, for swing trade purposes. Um, CBL Associates, uh, that's the one I had bought on, actually bought kind of on accident. Um, I'm just waiting for that to hit 26, 27 cents just to break even on. Um, I own two shares of that. Uh, JC Penny, I own 15 shares of that. That's the one I, I think I talked about. Is either in my last video or the one before that. Um, I was actually working, and while uh, I went, I went uh, took a break. I think I was working from home. Yeah, I was working. It was the last day I worked from home, so it would have been Tuesday. Um, I, I went, ran in the kitchen to get a bite to eat, grabbed my phone, pulled up Robin Hood, and it had uh, penny stock. I bought it for thirty two cents, and it had been right around like thirty three, thirty four. It's not really worth selling yet. Um, while I was working, it actually spiked up to like 37, 38 cents, and I missed it. I missed it. And then shortly after, or well, no, it wasn't the same day. It would have been yesterday, I think it was. News hit that um, they're not able to pay their bills with everything going on. They missed a $12 million interest payment. Um, they're bringing in advisors. Their big thing they're looking at right now is they're just uh, looking to file for bankruptcy. Um so that dropped down from, I think it was like 33 cents, 34 cents at the time. It ended up dropping down to like the low 20 cents. So I was going to take a hit on that one. But I figured I'd hang on because some of those, they kind of, they, they pick up a little bit. Same thing happened with AMC right after they announced that they might have to declare bankruptcy because their theaters are sitting empty and they're not paying their rent and all that stuff. Um, their stock, it, it keeps going, it keeps fluctuating. It goes up, then it drops down. Uh, at the end of trading day, you know, four o'clock today, I mean, it was like the highest it's probably been in a couple weeks. So it was freaking crazy. So I'm like, oh, hang on to Penny. It's it's up yeah, a little bit. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself because um, I typically try to only talk through Wednesday's trading day. Um, so we got Penny, we got CBL and Associates. The other one was Starbucks. Uh, Starbucks had gone up quite a bit. I got in at $69 a share. Um, I did not buy a full share. I bought a fractional share. Um, that one went up, I think it was as high as like 72, maybe 73, and then dipped back down. So I'm just waiting for that to get back up. 70, you know, I, I want to get at least a quarter out of the deal. Um, off my fractional share when I sell it. So just wait for that one to go back up. Um, I did want to talk just for a minute uh, before we get out of here. Um, all right, parents, parents, you know when you had, when uh, your, your kid, your, your kid does something wrong and 
like you're bragging, you're always bragging your kid up like, oh man, my kid gets excellent grades at school. They, they don't get in trouble. You know, they're a star athlete. They're really, really good artists. I mean, the teachers love them. Everything's going great. They're probably going to get a scholarship. And then all of a sudden they do like something boneheaded and you're like, I am so disappointed. And you just want to like throw them out on the street and be like, you know what? You're somebody else's kid, whatever. You can't do that. Obviously I'm kidding. Joke. All right, anyhow, that happened to me with Washington Prime. I have absolutely been bragging up Washington Prime because how I like I love their CEO. I love how proactive the company is. Um, I got a really strong opinion on REITs and EFTs. Your dividends are not promised. Dividends are not guaranteed. A company does not have to pay you a dividend. However. REITs and EFTs, they are so you can get in like, a, you know, I don't want this to go like ridiculously long or anything, but without, without completely breaking down what, what REITs and EFTs are, their function is to pay their investors a dividend, even though, yes, it is not promised. That is their function. That's why they pool everything together. That way you can't afford these huge chunks of things. You, you can't afford to buy a mall, but you can invest in a REIT that owns malls for a few bucks, a share. Yes. And then, and then they, you know, in exchange, they pay you a dividend. So the last thing, the, like, unless they are absolutely going to shut the doors, they're going to close down. They're going to cease to exist a REIT or an EFT. In my opinion, again, I'm no financial expert. I'm no expert on these things at all. They should never, ever, those are companies that should never, ever consider cutting their dividend completely. You know what? Like where, uh, Granted, AMC, uh, designer brands, they are not REITs or EFTs, but they, they did not get rid of their dividend, but they reduced it. That's fine. You got to do what you got to do. But the REITs and the EFTs, I just feel like they, they should not do that. Uh, Washington Prime announced uh, they're making more cuts. They're furloughing some of their, uh, some of their employees. Um, their senior management team officers are going to take a uh, pay cut off of their base pay. And they have announced that starting for this coming quarter for the foreseeable future, they're cutting their dividend. Washington prime, Washington prime group. I'm not mad at you. I'm just very disappointed. Bring the dividend back. Same thing. Apple Hospitality REIT. Everybody talks about you guys. You're, you are an amazing REIT. And granted, you're in a, you're, you're, your focus is in tourism. And tourism is down right now. It doesn't mean it's going to be down forever. Cut something else. Cut the freaking lights off in offices you're not using. Don't cut the dividend. People are selling Apple Hospitality REIT left and right now, and it's, it's next to Realty Income. It's one of the best freaking REITs out there you can invest in, and they cut their dividend. for the, ah, Cut the crap out. REITs and EFTs, do not cut your dividend. That's why we want a REIT or an EFT. There's really no other purpose to have it. All right. Rant over. Okay, hopefully everything's going well with you all. I uh, can't wait to hear from you. Uh, let me know how your week's going. Um, uh, sounds like there's the different states. Governors are trying to get plans in place to start getting people back to work and the economy moving again um, as early as May 1st. Let me know if you've heard anything in your state, province, uh, territory, country. Uh, whatever's, um, also let me know, did you get your stimulus check yet? We just got ours. Uh, my, my lady friend and I both, uh, got ours yesterday. Um, so that's, so that's, so that's thing. Sounds like a lot of them hit yesterday. Some of them are still hung up here and there. I've, I had some friends and family that got theirs a few days ago. Let me know if you got yours. So that is all I got. Freaking hilarious. As usual, I intended this one to be super short and just drug on and on and on. I apologize. Thanks again, as always, for sticking with us. Hope you're having a wonderful week. We will see you on Monday, if not sooner. I don't know. I don't have anything special planned, but you never know. I got the, I, uh, the whenever the kids come over, they start talking and the end. 
Uh, they kind of get me motivated and inspired to do things. So you never know. You might see me again this weekend. But officially, you will not see me again until Monday uh, to give you the end of the week update and let you know how we started our trading week. So until then, thank you very much. See you later, YouTube. Also, before I get out of here, I do have a challenge that I issued out to my Twitter following. I will also, sh I'm going to pin that on my Twitter, which my Twitter links are, are below. My Instagram's below. I'll throw that out on Instagram. Uh, it was just this funny thing that got shared across my Facebook of all these stupid, different, wacky hairstyles like the, the Tiger King guy, whatever his name is. I never watched that, so I don't know. I've just seen him and all that, but it's like his mullet thing. Uh, the RoboCop, where like half of your hair shaved on back. I said if I can get a 1,000 subscribers on my YouTube, which is why I've got to pin it on Twitter because it's probably going to be a while, I will let you, the fans, pick what hairstyle I have to go have to get off of that sheet. Keep in mind, I had uh, one of my friends, Bree, uh, from Twitter. Hey, Bree. Uh, great suggestion was to go with that Tiger King one that, that she wanted to see me with the Tiger King. Keep in mind, I don't know if it's because uh, um, I tend to work stressful jobs or genetics, combination of both, but I don't have a whole lot of hair to begin with. So me growing out a mullet, uh, it's going to be really difficult, and and another thing to keep in mind, my hair doesn't really get longer; it gets bigger when it's like when the sides and stuff start growing out, it gets bigger like a fro. So I mean, that could be kind of goofy, but hey, uh, something to consider, something to go for. But I'm going to share that out. Uh, make sure you're blowing this thing up. Get me to a thousand subscribers. I'll let you guys pick the haircut. Uh, do something wacky. Shave the uh, the Billy Mays tribute beard. Whatever we need to do, folks. Good old Hulk Hogan, Fu Manchu going. I don't know. We'll do it. We'll make it happen. So check that out. Uh, get this channel blowed up. Um, and we will see you on Monday. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate you all.